headline about American health tonight and pills and painkillers, a hidden epidemic striking our neighbors and our families. A new alert tonight from the CDC says the number of women dying from overdoses in America is skyrocketing. More women die from overdoses on all drugs than die from car accidents. And a new member of our ABC News team, investigative reporter Aditi Roy, spent today asking why. Nagin Normohamadi started with just two pain pills a day, relief from the chronic pain of Crohn's disease. Within months, she was up to 70 to 80 pills a day. It just kind of spun out of control without me even realizing what happened. Today, that new government report revealed a woman is admitted to the ER for a prescription pill overdose every three minutes. What's more, the number of women dying from prescription pill overdoses jumped 400 percent between 1999 and 2010. And across the country, women called in to share their struggles with addiction. I, I was very good at hiding it for a long time. I was very manipulative. It consumed my entire life. My whole day. My days were not normal unless I took my medication. How could I be addicted? You're prescribing this stuff to me. Doctors tell us women are more likely to suffer from painful conditions like fibromyalgia and migraines, often treated by prescription pain pills. Why are women more likely than men to become addicted to prescription painkillers? Well, women tend to be prescribed prescription pain medications more commonly than men. Also, women tend to be smaller in size, so the dose is actually larger for women who are smaller in size. Women are also more likely to consult doctors for pain and the CDC says are more likely to go doctor shopping, getting prescriptions from multiple providers. Nagin told us she saw her primary doctor and then four others on the side. One doctor was like 90 years old and he was writing me a prescription a week and he didn't even realize it. This is staggering news, Aditi. So what are you supposed to do with it? What's next? What can be done? Doctors we talked to, Diane, say that women need to make sure they don't stockpile medicine, that they just don't keep pills lying around just in case. They also need to make sure that every doctor that they have is aware of every pill that they're taking so they don't accidentally become addicted. And maybe start talking about it more with each other. Aditi Roy, again, welcome Thank to you. ABC News. It's great to have you here.